up? It's Kevin Tendo, and today I'm gonna do a quick intro and a how to play Super Mario Bros. 35. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have five awesome tips for you. If you're just getting started, maybe you don't really know where to start, and if you stick around to the end, there's a super special advanced tip by my friend, YouTuber Paul Lloyd. Without further ado, let's it go! All right, ladies and gentlemen, so first things first, in the main menu, you always want to check out what kind of options there are. Now, in this game, just like in Tetris 99, you can actually remap a little bit of your options. In the default controls, you move Mario with the D-pad, which, I mean, I think that's a pretty good idea because Joy-Con drift. If you're using a pro controller, however, like I am, <laughs> you might want to use the stick. And so how you do that is just right here. You click it right here ba -ba 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 -ba, in the controls. Now, as for the button mapping, you know, A and B versus Y and B, that's actually just a matter of preferences. Um, I stick to Y and B, and I'm pretty sure that, you know, Super Mario World and definitely Mario Maker uses the default path. So if you're used to that, go for it. If it feels weird for you, uh, go for that. But I have one more tip, and that extra tip is that in the settings, you can actually remap any controls. So check this out right here. If you go over to controllers and sensors, you can go to button mapping, and you can actually change everything. If you want your stinking A button to be on the shoulder, you can do that. If you want your minus button to be your, uh, I don't know, your left stick clicking in, you can do that right here uh, and right now. And so again, how you get there is you go to the settings and then find controllers and sensors and then change button mapping. And before anyone says anything, yes, I have the light theme. I'm just doing it as a protest until we get some good themes on Nintendo Switch, like a red theme. I would love that. All right, time for tip number two. Do your daily challenges. It's kind of like homework, you know, but if you really want to get good at this game, you have to play. You have to keep playing. The daily challenges are a really great way to just kind of guide you through the process. They tell you what's important. They tell you what to do, and you're able to do a lot of that uh, through a through a number of matches. For example, the bottom one, you can do 20 coins, then 100 coins, then 200 coins, then 100 coins, then 69, 420 coins. I don't know, I didn't do that math right, but you get my point. You don't have to do it all at once, so don't feel like you have to knock out everything in one match. All right, guys, and for tip number three, we are actually gonna go straight into a battle. Uh, Paul Lloyd is going to explain this a little bit more about what what do these levels mean and why is there some locked why you know that kind of thing like is there even a point to picking them my next tip is the importance of targeting now ladies and gentlemen just like in Tetris 99 the goal of this game is to do as well as you can and target other players. So as you can see on the very far right of my screen, I am targeting someone right now. I'm gonna use the D-pad, and as you can see, it goes lower, 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 to the right, to the right, to the right, and basically, if I have a particular person that I want to attack, I use the D-pad, or in your case, it might be the stick, right? Oh! <laughs> and just that easily, I died! <laughs> Now, if you die, you know, don't worry. You have infinite time until Nintendo closes the servers down on March 31st. <laughs> Which, by the way, why are you doing that, Nintendo? Why are you closing down the servers? <laughs> so anyway, this next match, I'm going to show you what those targeting sections are. Th that was if you want to individually target someone, but I don't recommend that. I really don't recommend that because, I mean, who, how are you going to keep an eye on your own gameplay and at the same time be like, oh, I'm gonna target this one particular Mario. You don't even get to see their name. You don't even get like, is that your friend? Is it not your friend? We can't even squad up with friends yet. Hopefully that's coming in the future, just like with Tetris 99. Uh, but here we go. So this time I'm gonna be switching between the four different attacking modes. And you do that by using the other stick, the other stick. You see that at the top? Now we're gonna go all the way through it lowest time very easily that's just you know you're targeting the person who has the the least amount of time and with the least amount of time as you can see you know every kill you get gives you some more time as you see right here i just got a one up you want you always want to have a uh you, you always want to have a fire flower pretty much because that gives you two hits you want to take as many coins as you can 
Uh, and you want to go for these star kills, right? Because with the star, it's just easy time. It's just easy time. Now, you'll notice this too. So that's lowest time. That's taking care of the person who has, basically, he's the closest to dying, okay? He or she or they. <laughs> I'm not going to say it because it, right? That's, uh, you know, nobody wants to be known as it, but they, you know, they, he, she, or it. Oh, there we go, dog, got it, there we go. And these cheap cheeps be flying. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to attackers. I have a feeling most people are gonna want uh, attackers set because quite simply, attackers is used. And, oh, there we go, and I just got a kill. Very awesome. So attackers, ah, I died, no! <laughs> Mamma mia! So attackers shoots back anyone who's attacking you and just like in tetris 99 it multiplies you get more points the more people that are attacking you it's a really good thing to stick on I, pretty much most of the time i personally just stick to attackers you can flip oh i'm gonna be in attackers mode now and oh i'm gonna be into the coins mode now and oh i'm gonna be into the the least time to get some ko's great go for that the more knockouts you get, the more time you get on your end, and the more time you get, the more levels you complete, and the more points you get, too! It's it's just awesome! Okay, I'm gonna go through the other two uh, targeting modes. The one on the the left, the left side, obviously random. Okay, uh, if you don't know what random means, then English might not be your first language, so I'll still explain it anyway. Random means it's one person that we don't even get to pick. It's just completely chosen by the algorithm, you know? It's just random, you know? And it's a terrible thing to define something by, uh, you know, oh, what's random? Oh, it's random! You know, you're not supposed to define, you're not supposed to define something with its name in the definition. But anyway, go for these stars. I'm just telling you guys. All right, and the last one, most coins. This one is the, it's, this is for the gutsy people. If you're just like, hey, I want to gang up on the really good players, that's the one you go for, okay? Super good one you go for, okay. Here we go. Now, ooh, a little bonus tip here. See all these Goombas? They end up getting piled up in the single blocks. And yeah, there we go, okay. So most people actually go up and above right here, but what I like to do is just can't- Ah, I just took it the damage! An error has occurred! Ah! Oh, and you know what? I was big this whole time anyway. <laughs> I didn't even change to the small camera, so it works out perfectly. <laughs> Okay guys, and my final tip of the day is pick your loadout on the right side of the screen before you choose a level. You can actually choose to start with a mushroom, a fire flower, or a star. And so this time, I'm, you know, I'm absolutely going to start with a fire flower. You know, you earn coins from your matches, so use the coins, you know? Don't just, just, don't just hoard them. There's nothing else to spend it on anyway. So this time I'm gonna start the level, um, when you pick the level, right, I chose 2-4. It's not like I'm gonna start on 2-4. Again, I'm not gonna explain that. Paul Lloyd in his video is gonna explain that. And then right after this, I'm just gonna do my very best doing one level, just one try, not one level, but one match. And uh, after this, you know, doggone it, Paul Lloyd, he is an awesome friend of mine, an awesome YouTuber. He's got a very special tip for you guys, so get ready, okay? And like I said before, I'm pretty much just gonna stick to attackers. Um, if I'm being really gutsy and I'm feeling really good, then I, I will switch to uh, lowest time at the top. But most of the time, like I said, I'm just gonna pretty much, pretty much always stick to attackers. Um, so I guess for now, I'm, I've got the most, no, the least time, lowest time, because those are the people that are getting ready to get knocked out. They're gonna get ready to get knocked out. Now, on the screen right now, you can tell nobody's sending me anything. They're scared of me, and they might be scared of you too. Now, a line, and it says, watch out. You see that line on the screen, and it says, watch out? That means someone's attacking me right here, right now. Oh, we got that one up up there. Oh, 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 I took a hit. So I took a hit. So now is a, is a worthy, t oh, and I took another hit. Definitely a good time to use my, uh, there we go. What the heck and heck? Okay, so I didn't know that you actually lose the star if you go through the pipe. I thought I would keep it. 
All right, back to one dash one. Bah! <laughs> Mamma mia! Okay, guys, I, you know, I'm just clearly, clearly, I'm not the Mario Maker expert, and so now I'm gonna send this. I'm gonna send you guys over to my friend Paul Lloyd, who's gonna give you a very special tip. It's a little sneak preview in his advanced how to win Mario Bros. I taught you how to play, but you know, I might need to pass you on to someone else for how to win. And so here we go, Paul Lloyd, take it away. Also, another tip with warp zones, if you see a level, one of the castle stages or an underwater stage, then go to them and you're gonna send a, across some hard enemies to other players. It's a really good way to get some hard enemies in the rotation if you see those levels in the warp zones. All right, thank you so very much, Paul. Thank you for, uh, you know, watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed how to play Mario 3-5, 35. A Super Mario! Wee so I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and then before you do anything else, go over to Paul Lloyd's channel and view his How to Win. It is a very awesome video. He's a way better Mario player than I am, and I know that he will give you some awesome tips of how to win. I taught you how to play. Now let's learn how to win. Thank you so very much for watching. Shout out to all of my channel members, Twitch subscribers, and I will see you guys very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Life's a Switch, so let's play.